don't know where he plays now, though. I will see in five seconds what Unless he does I'm thinking play. of a different Phoenix. No, he oh, still, no, plays, he still Sonic. plays Sonic. Okay. Or maybe he feels like Sonic is good for this matchup. I know speed is helpful against Snake. Yes. As we saw in that uh, Captain Falcon versus Snake matchup earlier. Well, but what's also important is his kill power. Yes. And, and Sonic being doesn't able have to much. kill early. Sonic just has a back air, and that's like his only kill move. I, I do like those uh, special attack combos, the spin dash into the homing attack. Yeah, that's a new combo that. Uh, Whoa, Sonic where are got. you going? Yeah, he's, uh, he's going the wrong way, dude. Wrong way? It's like, you know, when you're. When you go the wrong way in Mario Kart or Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, but so it's Sonic lost the iframes on the startup of uh, the spin dash. It's uh, I, it, he lost a lot more, I think. He doesn't have as much combos off of it as Stu, so you can't really just camp and do that anymore. For, uh, for the better, I'd say, honestly. Uh, yeah, this character is so annoying to fight. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, you Sonic mains. But most. Sonic mains and SoCal have dropped this character, but I guess not Phoenix. I've also seen Master pull out this character sometimes. Master? Yeah, it's not <laughs> very good though. Okay. Well, the forward air will kill off the side, and Phoenix will seal the first stock, which is crucial for this matchup. Because as you know, when Snake gets the lead, he can run away and just use grenades in C4. Now, though, yeah, up he... tilt, brings it back, brings it to even stocks. But you gotta imagine Phoenix is not too happy that he, he had that lead and he got hit by that up till. He wanted to probably build up a little more extra credit. Because we're back to even now. I wonder if he was going for a footstool combo there. The way he sort of like double jumped after that spin attack. Oh, nice combos. Going for that back air, but without how much, how long it takes to come out, Snake could just throw out a down air and cancel it out. Good trade for Phoenix in that case. Oh, nice. That is so huge. Yes. Just the way, you know, Snake's, Snake's up special, it does technically have, it has like, the Cypher can take a hit, but it can also take a hit right through it. As we saw there, just four smash will do it. <laughs> Yeah, and Snake is one of those characters that will live to 150, 200. Just crazy. Pr <laughs> Two up tilts up in a row. Tilt. That, 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 can, that can hurt a man's soul. But yeah, this cra character will live for crazy long, so finding those early kills is so important. And that, that F Smash has always had a deceptively big hitbox uh, for Sonic. Jumping out of the spin but dash, trying to land another aerial. But yeah, great move for uh, two framing, as we saw from Phoenix. Oh, I love the again. dash back to avoid the dash attack. Is oh, he, he go goes super air? high. That almost kills. The spring allows him to just chase, uh, chase Snake because most snakes will go so high to just kind of avoid everything and have that C4 ready if you go to chase him. Another but back throw won't do it just yet, but he is in a very bad spot. <gasps> oh, he's got he these stuck. Is he going to get back thrown? He can't shield no, wait, anymore because he's... The C4 is on key now. Oh, and it went back on Phoenix. So smart of him to shield just in time. Yeah, I was going to say he couldn't shield there for a while because uh, he had the... the he, His shield was too low. We're broken his shield. Great use of back air there, though. I think yeah, he got at that, that percent, he was not able to tech. It was, was untechable. Uh, I think, so, the th thing about that is if you DI away from the stage, the it's not dependent on percentage, it's dependent on knockback. So if you DI away from the stage when you're getting hit into the stage, and then tech, you can potentially live longer. Uh, I don't know about that situation, but it looked like borderline. It, like he could have lived there. I never knew that. That's very interesting to know. They're trying to land, oh, don't don't die at 7%. That, that, that breaks my heart. <laughs> he's making it back onto the stage, setting up his uh, explosives. Yeah, that that spin dash used to be. I mean, it still is very frustrating to get hit by, but like, uh, 
Ds, because Sonics would just camp you and then spin dash you and then hit you. And, uh, my God. I think Phoenix was going for a jab lock setup off of this attack. I think he can do a jab lock into a four smash. Yeah, because of the way they change jabs in this game, uh, there's so many more characters that can do those setups. All right. Phoenix sticking to the platforms, avoiding uh, Snake's zone. Tries to run in, gets dash attack for his troubles. Fort Smash was a little bold, but maybe it was a bait, so he could get that back throw. Oh, Fort <laughs> Smash whiffs, but the back air will seal it. Yeah, Phoenix anticipating it, I guess, because he turned himself around uh, just to beat out that dare. All right, I I've noticed that Phoenix is consistently keeping Key trapped at the ledge, trapped off stage, because as great as Snake is, when he's off stage, he doesn't have many options to like force his way back on. Like that up there though, whoa, that hitbox was a little wonky. But if it works, it works. Yeah, he's got big legs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the ledge trapping is, is very important for, Mon uh, for Phoenix. Uh, it's really how it, what's getting him the lead in this game. Oh, he got hit by the spring. Yeah, but he's going to make grenade. it back. Uh, or not, as Phoenix goes down there with that back air. I guess, uh, yeah, because the Cypher's slow, so when you go high, it's good, and you're far, you have a lot of distance between your opponent. Uh, it's good, but if you're down low, uh, because Snake is so heavy, it takes a while to come up. So if you can space it right, you can go down there and just mess with his recovery. Oh, he's going all the way out. He, Phoenix wants to seal this set. He, he sees the next round of winners and he says, I want to be there. Surprisingly, that up tilt didn't kill. He was at 130 after the hit. Which wow, is, are we really still strange. in pools right now? This, is crazy. I, this must be like round of 16 or something. These are pretty high level players. I don't think it's that big. Well, oh, F smash, not really. All right, forward throw, keep him off the stage. Tries to read a jump from the ledge with a back air. Okay, lots of crazy movement coming out from Phoenix. He feels like he's feeling himself a little too much. Keeps on jumping out of those spin dashes. Down tilt. Okay, once again running away, just poking with a few hits. He knows he doesn't have to push this lead. Oh, that up air almost clipping Phoenix and closing out the stock, but ooh, back throw. He is, is off stage go again. Out? We've seen... Oh, that, that was just a frame trap. There was nothing he could do in that situation except air dodge and then just take the next back air. Yeah, wow. Well, Great Phoenix awareness off, from Phoenix. Offstage play was so good in that game. 